welcome viewers to another episode in this series of episodes where we've continued to look at the 2023 internal mathematics paper 2. If you haven't seen the other episode, please check out on our YouTube channel and also don't forget to download the companion app where we'll be able to find all the exam past papers, quizzes that we can help to practice. Remember, practice makes it permanent. Let us look at question 7. 7a. The points A, B, C and D are on the surface of the earth as shown in the diagram. Take pi to be 3.142, radius R to be 6370 kilometers. Loma numero 1, find the difference in latitude between points A and D. Loma numero 2, calculate in kilometers the distance between A, A and B along latitude 50 degrees north, B, B and C along longitude 40 degrees east. So, we can start with Loma numero 1. The instructions are clear, we've understood the question. The question is asking us to find the difference in latitude between A and D. So A is here, D is here. So what's the difference in latitude? So if you come and connect to the center here, what is this angle? That's the difference in latitude. So that one will be in degrees. So if you notice, A is on 50 degrees north. So it will be 50 degrees north plus D is 50 degrees south. So they are on the opposite sphere of Earth. So this is meaning we just add the two. 50 degrees plus 50 degrees equals to 100 degrees. So if one was on north and the other one on north, you will subtract. You subtract the smallest from the largest. If again both of them they were in south, you do the same. If they are on the opposite sides, you will add. That's the rule that you need to follow. So the difference is 100 degrees. Then calculate in kilometers the distance between A and B. Between A and B. So let me just demonstrate again so that you follow me. So you're looking for the distance between A and B. So again what you do is you come and connect here. So let us say this is the center. So this angle we subtend this angle that we need. So this angle we hope us to find the length of this circumference of a sector. That's what we need. So we can only find that if we know this angle. How do we find the angle? We need to find the difference between 20 degrees west and 40 degrees east. That's the first step. So again you notice that they are in the opposite. So what do you do? You just add the two. So we are looking for distance AB. So AB equals theta which is this angle subtending that that arc divide by 360 then multiply by 2 pi r times cos cos we shall call cos alpha this alpha is the latitude the latitude we are moving along so in this case we are, we are moving along the latitude 50 degrees north so it will be 50 degrees so now let us find this angle we need to find this angle let me use red color so this angle will be which are calling theta or I do it from here the same so that angle which is theta is equal to 20 degrees plus 40 degrees because one is in the east 20 degrees west then 40 degrees east so this is going to give me 60 degrees so now I found this one so it's easy to find a b so a b equal to 60 over 360 multiplied by 2 times pi which is 3.142 times radius which is 6370 from what we've been given times cos 50 degrees which is we're moving along the 50 degrees north then at this point i would encourage you to use a calculator so once you use a calculator you're going to discover that the answer becomes much more easier so i just want to simplify a bit before i go to a calculator 50 degrees so once you use a calculator you're going to get 42 88 so 4288.366 which when i give it to three significant figures is going to be 42 or 4200 let me write it 4290 kilometers to three significant figures so that's it, the answer 4290 once you do that, you're good to go. Then you would have answered the, this question. Then you go to BC. 
So BC, we are moving along the great circle. So again, we need to connect here, then find this angle. Now, but this angle already know it. See this angle that we found, which is 100 degrees. But the formula changes because we are moving along the great circle. So the perimeter, which is that distance, which is the Roman numeral 2, B, is equal to now, BC is equal to theta, which is that angle 360, multiplied by 2 pi R. So we already found this angle from when you are answering question A, which is this one, question A of Loma numeral 2, I mean Loma numeral 1, this one, when you are answering Loma numeral 1, it was 100 degrees, so it's just a matter of now substituting there and solve. So we're going to have 100 over 360 times 2 times 3.142 times 63.70. When you use a calculator, we're going to find that the answer will be 11119.189, which is equal to 11 then zero zero kilometers like this. So this will be our answer. So once you do this, you would have answered the question A, then you need to move to question B. So question B leads, the following diagram is a first term of a rectangular pyramid with a base 15 centimeter long and 6 centimeter wide. The top of the first term is 10 centimeter long and 4 centimeter wide. Its perpendicular height is 8 centimeter. Loma numeral 1, find the height of the pyramid. Loma numeral 2, calculate the volume of the flash term. That's what we are looking for. So, the question is asking us to find the height. That's what the question is asking us. So, we need to find the height, then find the volume. So, two things. So, now, let me just zoom in so that we are able to see what we have and do what the question is asking us to do. So, if I come here, I know I can extend this one all the way upward. So this is my sketch. So what it means is this point joins here and this point joins here. Then I'm going to use a black one. So this point here and this one points here. So this is how it looks when it's complete. Pardon my sketch like that. So the blue part, this blue part is in the small height, the extended height, which we are call H. Small H. Then this tells me that large height, which is the height of the oval pyramid, is equal to 8 centimeter plus the known height of the small pyramid. The small pyramid is ends here. This is the small pyramid, the one which is on top. This is the small pyramid. So I've used lead so that you can see it properly. That's the small pyramid. That's the height. Then we know that this is the base of the small pyramid. Then this is the base of the large pyramid. So what this tells me is this ratio. This is the center one. This angle remains the same because these two will be parallel to each other these will be parallel to each other so because of that then the ratio this ratio h over bigger base which is this base must equal to small h over small base which is the base which is this base then this is the bigger base like that so that ratio must hold so it's that ratio that we are going to use to solve this question so now let us solve question A, which is asking us to find the height based on this principle. Because if you don't understand this principle, you will not be able to get this answer. So to answer Loma numeral 1, we shall say H over B must equal to small h over B, which is the same as 8 plus H over B. What is B? The base here is 15. So 15 centimeter. And this is 8 centimeter on top so that we're just clear plus a plus h centimeter must equal to small which is h centimeter we're looking for over base what is the small base the small base is 10 10 centimeter that's what you're looking for so at this point it's just a matter of closing multiply multiplying so i'm going to ignore the centimeters because i i, I know in the mind that of 8 centimeters so it's going to be 8 plus h we multiply it with this one times it 10 must equal to must equal to 15 times h which is 15 h so what this tells me i'm going to have 8 which is times 8 times 10 plus 10 h must equal to 15 h so 8 equals 15 
h minus 10 h so this one gives me 8 is equal to 5 h that's what i'm going to get so meaning i divide by 5 i divide by 5 so 16 centimeter remember that in centimeter is equal to h so h is equal to 16 centimeter so if h is equal to 16 centimeter then i can go on to find the height of the pyramid which is h is equal to 8 centimeter plus h so which is equal to 8 centimeter plus 16 centimeter which is equal to 24 centimeter so 24 centimeter is the value of the height of the pyramid so once you do this you are good to go you get that two marks lemon number two of b calculate the volume of the flash dam so we're looking for this volume so now the complete pyramid the volume is given by one third times this base times this one which i will call the white so i call it a then times the height this height until the end that's what it means so now we found h so h in this case is the one that we found here is from here to here then this is b then this is a then what we need to do is we need to find for the whole base then we subtract the one for the smaller one here so from here i can now deduce that the formula for volume of the flash dam is equal to one third times a times b times i minus one third now we use a smaller one for this for the one which is up then small b then small i so i have one third out then i have a b h minus a b small h like this so it will be one third multiplied by what is m so if you come and look at a we found it to be six then if this is 15 then this is to be 24 so it will now be six times 15 then times 24 remember all these are in centimeters these are in centimeters eh? that's why i'm just trying to conserve space so that one now then we take out the one for a smaller one so for a smaller one you come here and see this smaller one you see the base are here so we have the four centimeter here and the ten centimeter so we have four times ten then times the eight what's the eight on top the eight on top is sixteen the thing that we found remember we found the small h the small h was in 16 so this is the height of a, a small one so we're going to say we are doing 4 times 10 times 16 like this then at this point we just use the calculator so we're going to have one third times in. we multiply this using a calculator we're going to get 21 60 centimeter cubic minus 640 centimeter cubic so when we use a calculator we're going to discover that this simplifies to 506.67 centimeter cubic which to three significant figures is 507 centimeter cubic so once you do this you would have answered the question and you get the four marks so the trick part is in finding the value of h which you should not forget the value of h in this case is in eight centimeter plus what you find on top which is 16 centimeter when you add the two it will be 24 centimeter so also when you are substituting here be careful ensure that you put here 24 and then you put a 16 so that you don't mix the things so thank you for joining me in this episode please join me in the next episode as i look at question eight